In this video, we'll find the element on the periodic table that corresponds to the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. So there are two ways we could do this. First, we can just count up the electrons. 2 plus 2 plus 5, that gives us 9 electrons. Since all of the elements here on the periodic table are neutral, their number of protons, that's the atomic number written here, will equal the number of electrons. So if I have nine electrons, I just need to find the element with an atomic number of nine, and that is fluorine. So this fluorine right here has the electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. There's another way we can do this, though. We could look at the periodic table broken up into what we call orbital blocks. So s can hold up to two electrons. We'd have s1 for all of these, s2 for all of these. d, that can hold up to 10, so we have d1 all the way to d10, and then for p, up to 6. So we'd have p1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Our configuration ends in 2p5, so we need to find the element here that ends in 2p5. So here's the 2, we go over, p1, 2, 3, 4, and here it is, 2p5. So this element right here will have the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. Let's go back to the periodic table with the elements written in and see which element we have. And here it is, just like before, fluorine. So fluorine has the electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. And you can figure that out by counting up the electrons and then tying that to the atomic number, or you can use the orbital blocks on the periodic table. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.